of the most difficult job of a business owner is to constantly ensure that he has the right people at the right job. I, the most difficult thing to do when you start the way I start is when you come to, when you need to make a curve or a corner that will make the difference in your life. Because individuals like me that are very determined to succeed and make success can get a point and cap their success. And that is to say, you've made enough money, but there is a time you need to bring experts into your business to help you grow and make a different, the proper structure in a way you can compete in a structural manner that banks will take you serious and many big players in the industry will take you serious. But many self-made entrepreneur got at that point and they felt, what would these people offer me, these people that went to school? A typical woman will tell you what a man had in his pocket is more important than anything. But I can tell you authoritatively that what somebody has up here is greater than what you have in your pocket. <laughs> so, to really be a good person is not laying the wall that matter. It's when you get to the point of making a corner. How successful you lay the corner wall, they will say you're a good person. And this was one of my major challenge to know when to stop the usual traditional way of what other people that before me till my time everybody in my village get boys to train them to help them to learn the business when you bring a boy a young boy and start teaching him what to do by the fifth year that boy is already mature he knew all the ins and outs of the business the training I had was such that your boss will import goods and he will cut off the letterhead and the, so that you don't know where the goods is coming from. The consignment will come. He will put the prices of the goods for you to sell without you knowing the, the cost price of the goods. So initiative is completely, um, you know, key. You are micromanaged. Justice is the price to sell the goods. So, you can only argue to get more or stop at that point. But for me, it was faulty because I knew something was bubbling in me and I believe if I'm allowed to make a decision, I can make good decisions that will be give the company a better profit than what they are earning. So, I started taking this first set of boys. In my own generation, they will bring you, by the time you are 50 or 60 years, where you are supposed to be valuable to the company, they will give you capital and set you up. By this time, the boss comes late in the office, he will always come by 11 o'clock, and by 4 he goes back home because he's the boss, and all the customers know the young boys. So you see a system that lasts only for 7, 8 years, one champion who is the biggest importer or motorcycle pass dealer. After eight years, the man starts going down. Another young person starts coming up. By the next eight years, he starts going down. So, when I started, I said, Shay, this is the wrong thing to do. I took the first set of boys, and as soon as I settled the first set of boys, I said, I'm not going to go this system that I was brought up under. I'm going to get people here to bake, bake a big cake that everybody will take a part from it. So, this is the most important thing. Many self entrepreneurs will not want to do that because we are bringing people who are going to be asking you questions, challenging your assumptions, and making you to think a little bit deeper than you've thought before. So, I started hiring staff. And people say, what is this guy doing? The, each of those first set of boys I have, once they are matured, I settle them, I replace them with a staff and the, because initially I am the managing director, I am the backward director, I am the accountant, I am the chief of financial officer, I am the HR, I am the damaging and managing director, the backward and, and uh, the 
Ryan for what in the I am eight to sell on that topic. But I knew I was stressing myself because where my core competence is, is my knowledge in the interest of all motorcycles, papers, what to bring and what to sell. But I do not have all the knowledge of financial background to structure a book. But I have basic financial knowledge because you can't do that without being business. Before I employed anybody, which is something you must also know, if you don't have all the capital to, to build a big business, there are basic four things you must have. One is what you call, if you are a trader, some of you are not, but let me take it. If you are a trader, you must have what you call purchase book. Purchase book is where you record every goods that you, you bought for sale. The day you buy them and the prices you, 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 you pay for them. Then you must have another book that is called sales book. Sales book is where you record everything you sell each day. Then you have another book that you call expenses book. That means you must make, you have to hold yourself accountable. If I enter bus, I write it down. I don't keep hand inside my pocket and spend money. Every, in each day I will tell you I spend 300 naira or I spend only 75 kobo, whatever it is. So in each day I'm able to know what are the goods I sold, what profit did I make on it, what are my total expenditure, and what is the income. I do this on a daily basis. If for any reason I check my cash in the end of the day, I wasn't a banker then, I didn't know, I, wasn't, I told you I stopped with my rent and trade. But these are basic fundamental uh, uh, prerequisites for business. If at the end of the day I find out I, I had 25,000 and the things that I've recorded that I sold are only 18,000, I need to find what did I sell that this extra 7,000 is here because 7,000 cannot jump by air to enter into my record. There must have been goods I sold that I did not record. And if I don't know how much goods I sold, because at the end of the day, after a daily activity, I take the sales book and get to my stock book. In this page of this stock book, I wrote, if I'm selling an article, say mail, on December, uh, 12, 9, 2017, I purchased 100 tins of milk. So, in January 15, I sold 25 tins. I must come to the stock book and my loss it. The balance is now 75. This is how you will be able to know if your goose is missing or if your boys are stealing from you. We do this when the customers have left and balances all the book before we go home. You are not ready to go to this difficult accounting structure. You are not ready for business and you can never build for scale. So this basic knowledge, you must have them before you even employ experts to come and help you. Because you also need to ask experts some questions that will help them to understand you are not completely novice in the things we are talking about. Otherwise, they can take things over your head and plan for you to where you can also crash that without you knowing. So, but if you have those knowledge, when they ask certain things, you ask them questions and say, but what happened if the other one happened? Your, your knowledge is limited, but they have the discipline to at least explain to you that you are on the right course. So, these are things we did. Then we started bringing experts into the company who help us structure the company the way it should be. Because those number of years they spent in university was not for nothing. They also were taught basic things, the way to run a business in a professional manner. Where bank can take you serious, where you can have a book that you'll be able to, a financial that you can present to, to your creditors to be able to help you to do business. These are the system on what we did in Costaris because these are really the secret I learned before I got anybody to join me in Costaris, I pay myself salary. In the salary I paid myself, I give my wife money for feeding for, for our household. And I also hold my wife accountable 
for the money I give her. If she's going to cook a soup, I tell her, can you give me a list of what you want to buy? No, this is serious. And she will give me a list. And in the list, she will write a bottle of oil, a tin of this and that. I'll give her money. And then, after two weeks, she tells me she's cooking another soup. I said, can I have a list? And if I see a bottle of oil, I said, ah, yeah, well, two weeks ago, you took your money for oil. Why are you writing an oil again? You may think, is this crazy? I'm helping her also to teach her accountability and a life of, not to live a life of wastages. You can't throw things away. She needs to explain what happened to the oil we bought two weeks ago. Even though oil is not as it's a Coca-Cola that you have drank, drank it, but if you have gone through poverty, the one I went through, you must be, your, your eyes must be sharp on every angle, looking for everything. Today, this lady I'm talking to you is the Vice President of Coscharis. <laughs> and I have a credit card that has no limit. But the foundation has to be laid right, eh?